Hi, do you want to know what I think is pretty annoying? Well, I show you. This, I think, is pretty annoying. Now I show you how it should be. Well, but how can we achieve this? Well, for example, we could buy a shop bag with the automatic switch on or we could buy one of these extension leads with master-slave function or we could buy one of these uh, master-slave devices or there are also relays like this one from Etaco which having these kind of function but uh, we of course want to do it the exciting way and we don't want to spend much money so we use a microcontroller and Arduino Nano and we need a current sensor for example the ACS712 and a little relay to switch the back on and finally, a small 12 volt transformer. What we don't need is this plate, but it helps to hold all the parts in place. And with a CNC machine, it's done quickly. For wiring, I like to make small connectors out of these rails. Well, if I'm not mistaken, the official name of this thing is a single row stray female pin header strip. Well, why not? Well, of course, you could uh, solder the wires directly to the module. There's nothing wrong with this, but I like to do it this way. I think it makes life a little bit easier if you have to change a part later. Just a little bit of insulation tape and the connectors are done. Time to connect the Arduino. Well, of course, I won't leave you in the dark about where which wire goes. So I made a little drawing. And as you hopefully can see here, the 12V plus goes into Vin and the 5V plus goes to the VCC of the current sensor and the relay. The minus of the power source is connected to the ground of the Arduino and to the ground of the other devices. Then connect the output of the sensor to the A0 port of the Arduino. And finally, the input of the relay goes to D2. Let's move on to the connection of the socket outlets for the vacuum cleaner and uh, for the table saw or no matter which machine should turn on the vacuum cleaner. Just a little reminder. If you're working with mains voltage, there's a high risk to get electrocuted. So if you do the wiring by yourself, it might be a good idea to ask somebody who's qualified to check on your work. What you need to know is here the power goes into the relay and here it goes into the sensor and here the power comes out of the relay and here it comes out of the sensor. If you never worked with an Arduino microcontroller before, just visit the website and download the IDE and install it. In the description of this video, you find a simple program. Just copy it and paste it into the IDE. Then connect the Arduino to your computer. Now you need to choose the board you connected. In our case, it's an Arduino Nano. And you have to choose the port where it is connected to. Hey, now we are ready to send the program to the Arduino. Here we see the progress. And we are done, ready to plug in the machines. <laughs> well, now let's see if it's working. First we plug in the table saw. Then the vacuum cleaner. And now comes the big moment. Hey, no explosion, just blinking. That's a good sign. So let's test it. Do you realize that the vacuum cleaner is running three seconds longer than the machine? You easily can change this if you want to. Just find the spot in the program where it says delay 3000. The 3000 means that the delay is three seconds. If you prefer a delay of only 2 seconds, then just write 2000. 
I guess the principle is clear. Yeah, and just by the way, stop making fun about my dust collector, because uh, I'm prepared to build a new one soon. So stay tuned and subscribe. Bye, friends.